Hello, this is Michael Eller here with a demo of his quick and dirty LAN scanner. This LAN scanner is just a quick way to get a list of IP addresses that are currently running an open port on your local network. And this is used, well, I'm using it in order to find a list of IP addresses that may or may not be running some Unreal servers. Now, there are definitely better ways to do this, but I needed to make something quick for a class that I have. And it doesn't really matter how it works or how well it works, as long as it works. So yeah, I go. I went ahead and created a port scanner C++ and I binded it in Unreal script. Now I'm going to go back later and to add some advanced features to it, like you know what you would see in your normal server browser. But this is just going to be out there in case anybody out there who needs a quick way to get a list of IP addresses, open ports on a on a specific port on their network. You go ahead and use this. All right. So as you can see, I already have a game here. And this is just running, and I already have this game rigged to use my custom player controller. And my custom player controller, AV player controller, it, that's just, it's the same player controller that you'll see in the uh, the example the example zip file that you should get along with wherever you're reading this from, either UK, UDK forms or my site. Now, uh, that player controller function has a command in it called land server list fetch. I know it's none of that. Great of a name, but it works. And it takes an argument, just the port of what port you want to scan. Go ahead and hit enter. And it does it asynchronously, so you can do other stuff while it's scanning. And it takes about uh, between two and five seconds to scan your entire network in most cases. Uh, because there are better and faster ways to do it, but because I don't have direct co access to you know the engine code and figure out how they're responding to different packets and whatnot, then uh, it's going to take a little bit more work to do that. Not impossible, but just a little bit more work, and I don't have time for that right now, so this is just a really, really, just it's just, a, it's just a port scanner. If you know what a port scanner does and how it works, it's exactly that, except it's binded with UDK. All right, so when I ran that command, it went ahead and scanned my network for a bunch of servers that are up, listing on 7777. And that's the that's my default port I want to use. It used to be Unreal's default port. However, that does not seem to be the case with UDK. I'm not sure on that, but uh, yeah. So in, in in my config file though, I made it so every time I launch a server, it, it tries to host it on seventy seven seventy seven. All right. So I have a I have another computer on my network, which I want to bring up, which uh with VNC because. I don't like typing on it because it's a mini mini laptop and the keyboard sucks. But I use it to host servers. So as you can see, uh here's a server that's being ran on my network. And it's this uh this computer's IP address is one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot one oh one and it's running the server on port seventy seven seventy seven and that's the port that I entered into this console command here and which runs the example code in player controller which if you want to implement your own stuff it's really easy you just have a look at it it's all documented there we go all right so go ahead and so I'm going to quit this now currently well in this in the release that I'm giving you guys all it does is log a list of IP addresses to a file and you know your standard log method so if you open up your game log you will see that uh in here you'll see script log a uh, land scan complete that's just a little log that I have there that is logged when the scan is complete. And it then lists or it logs all the servers that it found in the network. And as I said, uh, this computer, I want to bring this up right now, go to control panel. And if you check out this remote computer's local IP address, you'll see that it is 192.168.0.101. So that this is a remote computer that has this uh, server on it running on port 7777. Important that you know what port you're, that you expect all your server to be on. And uh, yeah, I found it, so it logged it here. Now, it doesn't just log it. It stores it into an array of strings. Go ahead and pull that up. If we pull up the development source folder into my mod is where these classes are going to be an example of. It's going to store this list of IP addresses in the AB online subsystem array or array of strings called fetch land server list. 
and it's also going to give you a chance to work with it directly once the scan is completed and that you can catch that in the player controller example code where you will see the handle scanner a uh, handle land scanner data example function I know I need to work on my naming but so it does it's all documented it's it should be pretty easy to follow um, yeah and so this is pretty cool so um yeah it basically you start the land scan and you call a timer on a function that keeps updating or keeps pulling the uh, land scanner and for me I'm I'm pulling it every five seconds and it usually it's, it only needs to pull it once the reason behind a five second pull is that land scanner takes usually between one to three seconds to scan a network or this one does at least and there's no point in scanning at very very small intervals and five seconds isn't a lot of time so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull it at every five seconds and it usually catches it the first time and what the, this pull does is it, it just checks to see if the scan is complete and if it is complete it's then going to read through the list of IPs that it got and then it's then you can have it run a function to do whatever you want with that array I mean this array you can have it display to the user you can have it load up in your own UI type of thing you can do whatever you want with it the main point is the array that it gives you is a list of IP addresses with an open port on the port that you scanned and then you can do whatever you want with it so it's very 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 open-ended you can just do what you want with it it's pretty straightforward pretty simple so that's how all that works and uh... yeah there's also a DLL file that you're going to need and that's in 132 oh yeah binary is 132 user code allerserverbrowser.dll or abserverbrowser.dll and that's binded to this class here you'll find that there's some master server internet server functions but those are disabled in, in the public DLL that I'm releasing for now until I do so a little bit more development on it in fact if you run any of these uh, commands here it's going to say something like this c command is not available in trial version or whatever don't worry about that it's just not there I specifically compiled it so that you can't use those functions because I don't want you to yet until they're a little bit better but yeah all the documentations here on how to use that so you can go ahead and now you can port scan your networks and do whatever you want with the IP addresses that are there so um, hopefully that's of use to somebody if it's not eh, if it is cool um, you go ahead and use this for whatever you want right now version 01 there's really no licensing on this it's just out there for you guys to use whatever of course I'm not giving away the source code to my port scanner because it does more than port scanned. I'm only just giving you the functionality of the port scanning part. But you know, if you need it, it's there. Whatever. Uh, future versions uh, should be coming soon, but I don't know how soon. But soon, uh, we'll do stuff like full master server browsing and server pinging and querying and all this, all this cool stuff. But until then, no. Nah. So yeah, that's how you get that set up now this uh, example zip file I have here that I have uploaded I can download if you extract this into a brand new install of UDK April UDK it's going to go ahead and overwrite some config files add in uh, the example source code files and and more most importantly the win32.dll or the AB server browser DLL in there and then all you have to do to test this is open up your front end uh, map to play just type in DM deck and hit launch and it should launch DM deck within the uh, the custom game class that I wrote which is just like one it's just deriving from UT deathmatch and assigning a player controller to use our player controller for the example code and then you can go ahead and run that console command land server fetch list or whatever uh, if you forget the command just check the AB player controller code it's right there you know it's just like any other exact function so there you go and then after you've done that just go ahead and close your game check your logs there you go now you can go ahead and use that array of strings for whatever you want so yeah there you go thank you for watching